Well, hello everyone. Um, I would like to show you how to tie this fly. I called it the Bonky Bugger. Uh, it's a woolly worm variation that I created. Um, yeah, so it's a little streamer, first of all. We use a 2x hook instead of a 3 or 4x hook. And uh, this is size 10. Alright, well, let's get to it. This is the version of hook I'm using right here, uh, a Nymph Down Eye 2X. Okay, let's put her in the vise here. Seems strong. Alright, so you need to have a, a black uh, thread. Not sure about the size too much. I have a 12 odd or a 70 denier. Um, I imagine you can use 120 denier or an 8 aught. Yeah, start up here and bring your thread back to the back of the bend hook. Of the hook. Okay, for, okay, so you take all your um, flashing and bring it back. Have a little bit of the um, yarn exposed at the front here. Bring your thread over, tighten it down. Try and keep that all on top of the hook. Alright. That's pretty good. Right there. I'm going to bring that thread back and tie that all down tighter. Okay, that looks pretty good. Nice little tail, lots of flashing coming off of it. Okay. Next up, we need to tie in our chenille. Uh, we just want to tie it in and leave it on hanging off the back here. So it's always a good idea to take some of the chenille, expose the thread, that's a good thing to tie it in with. thread back to where you tied it in. Notice I'm trying to avoid the hook point here. It's important not to catch it on your thread. It'll make it... Now, you want to bring your thread forward, wrap up all that body, right up to the spot where you're going to tie in your chenille where the top of the body would be, right there. Okay, and you're going to need a length of wire. Uh, I have this craft store wire, it's 26 gauge, which means about 0.4 millimeters in diameter. Uh, you need a piece probably about 3 inches long. Okay, when you go to wrap it in, you want to take and make sure you leave a bit, a bit of a tag in so you can grab it with your pliers at the tail and make nice tight wraps and bring it forward. Alright, so grab your pliers and uh, grab the wire close to the hook and start to do a wiggle, 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 wiggle back and forth until it snips, snaps. Very good. And the same at the tail. So the next thing you'd like to do is uh, take some head cement and uh, 
lead it along that wire. Alright. Alright, well, I kind of forgot to do something. Um, you're supposed to have tied in your um, saddle hackle feather already. I'm going to do that now. Bit of a correction. So, let's take the thread back through the wire. It's kind of good to hold the wire down anyway. Keep it from sliding forward or backward. Alright, well, so here's my saddle hack hole <laughs> feather. You don't need any of this stuff at the top, so it's okay to tie it, break that off, strip it off. And these are pretty long here. By the time you get to that spot, you'll be at the front of the hooks. So what you want is just tie it in from the tip. So you need a little bit of a tip to tie in with. So you clear off some of those feathers at the tip. Let's give it a little trim. It gives it a tapered look. Small at the back and long at the front. Alright, so there's the tip I'm going to tie in there. There still. Alright, I hold that on about a 45 degree angle here to the side and then bring your thread forward. Okay, very good. Now, bring your, you want to bring your chenille forward now. Wrap around. Keep pulling things back out of the way. Nice. Okay, put a couple over top. And a couple in front. And there's a really... Clean that up. A few wraps. Okay, now it's time to bring the, uh, the feather forward. They call this palmering when you're winding it forward. Not sure that's the right term or not. Hey, okay, awesome. Now, bring your thread up and through over top of that feather Do that a couple times And in front of the feather, make sure you pull all the feather barbules back Alright, ready to trim that off Super. Now you're making a little bit of a head here at the front with your thread. Just wrap around a bunch of times. Kind of covering the front of that feather up anyway. Hard to go without those thin threads at the top. Okay, so you want to finish with a whip finish. So you start by putting the hook on, bring it around this end, and make a little triangle. And wrap it around your hook a bunch of times. There we are. And pull it so that this side comes out. Come on. And then up. Pull the knot up tight, and then pull out the hook. Very good. Hey, and of course, um, it'd be good to
put a little bit of head cement on here too. This one I like to use with um, my bodkin tool. Just make sure you wipe it off as soon as you're done. A little more control on how much goes on that head.